Hey everyone, my name is Hope Roush and I'm the financial literacy leader at Ohio Valley Bank. We all know that April means spring, the Easter Bunny, flowers, sunshine, but did you also know that April 24th is Teach Children to Save Day? In fact, we plan to celebrate Teach Children to Save all month. We all need money to pay for things. However, the way we choose to spend our money can make a huge difference when it comes to our bank account and our personal piggy banks. Do you ever get money for your birthday or maybe a holiday and you are tempted to spend it right away? If so, you are not alone. However, one of the best things that we can do is to learn to save our money. And the way we do that is by determining the difference between a need and a want. A need that's obviously something that we must have to survive like food or shelter, and a want, that's any of those fun extras, like a cool video game, or maybe going to the movies, or a new toy. And one of the best things that we can do is to think about what it is that we are buying. So when we think about what is a need versus what is a want, that will help us budget and save our money. And it's always a good idea to spend on those items that we need first, then put a little back in savings, and if we have any extra, just maybe get one of those things that we really, really, really want. So we are going to actually look over a list of items to spell a secret message that can help us think about saving our money. Let's spell a secret message together by deciding which item on this list is a need and which one is a want. So what we're going to do is we are going to circle the first letter of the word that is a want. Then we can reveal our secret message. A house. A house is considered a need because we need shelter. A skateboard. We might think that we need a skateboard, but really a skateboard is a want. A pogo stick. Pogo sticks are fun, but those are also wants. A bed. We need a bed because it's very important that we get our sleep. An easel. In this case, an easel is not being used for school, so an easel would be a want for us. Container of milk. Milk, that's a need. We need milk, there's nutrition in it, and we need food to survive. A school book. A school book would also be considered a need. We obviously need school books so we can learn and grow. A necklace. I personally love to wear necklaces. However, at the end of the day, a necklace is also a want. A doll. Playing with dolls can be fun, but as we know, dolls are toys, so that would also be considered a want. A whistle. Your teachers might use whistles at school, but you, you really don't need a whistle. Hat and mittens. Hat and mittens would be considered a need. Why? Because hat and mittens can keep us warm, and sometimes, as you guys know, it can get very cold around here iPhone. I could argue all day how much I love my iPhone, but do I really, really need it? Probably not. So it would also be a want. Soda. Soda would also be a want. Why would soda be a want? Well, we're not exactly getting any nutritional value from it. Earrings. Earrings can be really fun to wear, but they would also be a want. An umbrella. We need an umbrella when it rains to keep us dry. A lollipop. You might say, okay, well, a lollipop is food, so I need that, right? Not necessarily. A lollipop, like soda, doesn't give us any nutritional value, so a lollipop would be a treat, which would be a want. Eyeglasses. Those of us that wear eyeglasses obviously need those to see. A yo-yo. A yo-yo is a really fun toy, but that's just it, a toy, so it would also be a want. A sweater. Like hat and mittens, a sweater can keep us warm in those cold winter months. So a sweater would also be a need. And a lunchbox, when school gets started back up in the fall, we know that we need our lunchboxes to put our food in. So that would be a need. So now let's reveal our secret message. Okay, so our first letter is S from skateboard. Our next letter is P from pogo stick. Then we have E from easel, then N from necklace, D from doll, W from whistle, I from iPhone, 
S from soda, E from earrings, L from lollipop, and Y from yo-yo. So what does that spell? Spend wisely. When we spend wisely, it will be easier to save our money for the future. Remember, saving is awesome. For more financial lessons and activities, visit www.ovbc.com. Located under Kids, click on the Sensibles link. The Sensibles are a fun superhero team. The Sensibles website presents games and skills to help children learn the basics of finance. The Sensibles also feature a comic series as well as activity pages and information for parents.